Hey, Lord. It's finished. No. I think we're just getting started. We're excited to be showing off Halo Anniversary today. I mean, this is the culmination, you know, November 15th, this game's launching, and that's going to be 10 years since the launch of the original uh, Halo 1. So we're showing off a brand new version, a reimagination of it, and we're really excited. First and foremost for us, we wanted to make sure this game played exactly the same as it did 10 years ago. Halo's a classic, right? I mean, everyone remembers the first time they played this game. It launched a generation of shooters on console, and we, you know, Priority One, we wanted to make sure we respected that, and it played exactly the same. So I'm happy to say this game plays identically to how it did 10 years ago. What we've done is done a number of audio and graphical upgrades on top of that, as well as a number of side features that we'll talk a little bit more about. But what this lets you do is play the game you remember and love with that original gameplay, but it looks, feels, and sounds like a brand new title. What you'll find as we get closer to release is we're going to start talking about some other things we've done that will maybe let you alter your gameplay a little bit if you so choose. But yeah, if you want to just purely relive that experience of what Halo was 10 years ago, you can absolutely do that with this. Classic mode is easily my favorite feature of the game. Um, the dev team, when we started working on this, we initially had it in the menu. We were going to let people come in and choose, oh, do I want to play this in Classic or do I want to play this in New? Dude, very quickly we said, yeah, screw that. You need to be able to swap at any point in the campaign. So uh, we worked really hard to make sure that was possible. And, you know, it's working. We're thrilled. So any point in the campaign, you just hit that button and you'll be in that same spot and you can go back and forth between old and new, keep playing in old, go back to new at any point. It's a great feature. Terminals made their debut in Halo 3 and it was a great way to give people access to more story. Kind of an Easter egg you could, you know, search through and find. And they're really cool. People really like those and they've been evolving ever since then. You know, what we're doing with this is what we think is the next stage in that evolution and taking it from text on the screen to a motion comic animated kind of feel. So we're going to be telling um, more of the story of the Halo ring. We're going to set up the universe a little more. We're going to have these terminals spread throughout the game. And if you find all of them, uh, you're going to find that we're sowing the seeds for the story that we're going to be um, highlighting in Halo 4. So we've been showing Damnation today. Uh, we're going to have seven classic multiplayer maps. One of those is going to be Firefight. And uh, we've been approaching it philosophically the same way we've been approaching campaign. Take a classic space that people know and love and just make it look spectacular. Um, what we're doing a little bit different on the multiplayer side is we're running that in the Reach engine. So that's going to give us a few options. Uh, if you've got Reach and you don't have this, eventually you'll be able to just download those maps. But what it also lets us do is play these old maps with some of the Reach style gameplay. So for example, you can fly around Damnation on a jetpack, things like that. Um, it does make some changes to it, so what we're also going to let you do is play those classic maps without these new additions, uh, so it's exactly as you remember from the first time. This is, this is a game that changed a lot of people's lives, uh, not just from a story standpoint, but from a gameplay standpoint. This is very special to a tremendous amount of people, and this is something the community's been asking us for for a really, really, really long time. I mean, you need to go pick this up if you love the original game, if you love shooters, uh, if you love the fiction, you know, you loved Reach, you're looking forward to Halo 4. You're the definitive Halo fan, you need to have this game. You're going to have classic mode, you're going to be able to do two-player co-op over live, split screen, finally going to have achievements, you're going to be able to wrap up your Halo experience. Again, classic mode, which is a big favorite of mine, and some fantastic multiplayer maps. Um, no, we're really excited. This game's coming out November 15th, $39.99, great price, and we're really thrilled. Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary.